everyone. Uh, this is Miss Jess from the Monroe Street Art Center. And today I'm gonna show you how to make a tissue paper um, honeycomb like bumblebee collage. Um, in your art kit number eight, um, you have all these beautiful pieces of um, tissue paper. And these are the same exact shape as a honeycomb, little hexagons, okay? Um, so for this project, we're gonna use those pieces of tissue paper. You're going to need a piece of paper to create um, your beehive with. You're gonna need something to draw with. I'm just gonna use a Sharpie today. Um, the other thing we're gonna need is a glue stick or your container of Mod Podge from your art kit. Um, either one will work just fine. Okay, and then I'm also gonna use some scraps of yellow paper later too to make the bumblebees that we'll add onto it. Okay, so I'm gonna make a slightly smaller one for this video just to save us some time. So this is my piece of paper. I'm just using um, a piece of my mixed media sketchbook paper so it's got a nice thickness to it. Um, if it's too thin, it might get a little bit wrinkly while you're making it, but it should dry flat. So I'm gonna draw out the shape of my beehive. I'll hold it up in just a second so you guys can see. They're just kind of like a big, lumpy, organic shape like this. I don't know, where it's a little bit smaller at the top bigger on the bottom. And then if you wanted to, you can draw a little teeny tiny entryway for your bees to go in and out of the hive. Okay, so I'm gonna do that part too. Okay, so I've got a little door down here. Voila. Now I'm gonna fill in the space with all my pieces of tissue paper. Um, since it is really thin, it can rip and tear really easily, especially once it gets wet. So instead of putting the glue on my tissue paper, I'm gonna put the glue on my um, sketchbook paper and then I'll stick them on top of it. So for example, make a big sticky spot. Uh, let's see. And then we'll add it to it. Um, I'll just go space by space gluing instead of gluing the whole thing right away. Um, if you just glue the whole thing right away and it takes you a little while to lay all your pieces, that glue might already be dry by the time you come around to work on it. Okay make another sticky spot and you can use whatever colors you want to. I like the idea of having just like a rainbow beehive with all of these colors. Um, let's see. Oh, let's see. I forgot my scissors, you guys. Okay, that's fine. I'll get to that part next. So I'm just going along and squishing them in. You'll notice part of what makes this look like a honeycomb is that I'm lining the straight edges with the other straight edges, right? So they sort of meet at a space right here. And same with this one, flat edge against flat edge. Okay, so I think I've got a few more good spaces left here. And stick one there. Let's see, and I think I wanna do, now you guys will notice that I've got some pieces that are sort of hanging on across that line that I drew. I'm not gonna worry about that because I'm gonna go ahead and just cut around this whole thing when I'm all done. So anything that's hanging off the edge, like this piece and this piece, that'll just be cut off, okay? All right, I'm gonna do maybe one more here. And then I think I'm almost ready for the next step. How about dark blue next to the light blue, like that, and then, oh my gosh, that worked out perfect. One more here. Almost perfect. Awesome. Okay, looks good. You can see, if you look at the line that I drew around the outside, my whole space is full, right? Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, and this is totally an option, I actually have a little bit of um, yellow watercolor paint that since this is gonna be like a honeycomb, I want to have this whole thing have sort of a yellow glow on top of it. Um, you don't have to if you don't want to, you can totally leave it just like this and then move on to the next step, which is cutting out your bumblebees. Um, but I'm gonna pause for a quick second and actually put a layer of yellow paint across this whole thing. So I've got my paintbrush, and my yellow watercolor paint here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this in. Beautiful. Um, you guys, this yellow paint that I have is a concentrated paint. This is what it looks like. 
and it is so awesome. It's so much fun. Um, you could also, just throwing other ideas out there, use your Mod Podge from your um, art kit, and if you have like loose glitter, you could sprinkle it into your Mod Podge, and this could be kind of like a glittery beehive, which would be really cool. All right, isn't this neat? So do you guys notice how when I paint the yellow over other colors, they kind of change colors? So cool, color mixing. I love tissue paper. So obviously go slow, take your time. Tissue paper is really thin, so I don't wanna rip it or crinkle it accidentally. Okay, this looks good to me. Okay, so I just painted the part that was my beehive. I'm not worrying about the outside stuff because I'm gonna cut it off. Now, while this is drying, I am going to use my scraps of yellow paper. Move this stuff out of the way. I'm gonna use my scraps of yellow paper to create some bees to be flying around it. Honey bees. Um, you guys can draw bees however you want to. Um, I draw them kind of like little cartoon bees. So I'm going to do the same one for this where I start with an oval shape. Bees body. And then I draw two wings on top. They're like two lumps. Wings. This is going to be a happy bee. So two eyes and a smiley face. And then it's going to have black stripes. A little stinger and maybe some legs. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and make a few of these and then I'll cut them out. Give my paint some time to dry. Okay, here's my second one. You can have them be different sizes. Maybe two of them are talking to each other. Maybe I'll do that in my next one here. Wings here, body. Whoa, oh, that's a weird one. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Do honeybees even have stingers? Shouldn't let. Ah. Okay. So now I've got all my little bumblebees. Okay. I'm ready to actually cut these out. My paint is still a little bit dry. So here's what I'm going to do pause the video, let this dry a little bit cut out my bumblebees, and then I'm gonna show you guys the final steps for this project, okay? Have fun. All right, you guys, so my painting is finally dry. I have gone ahead and cut all of my little bumblebees out. I found my scissors. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is actually cut the rest of this out, and then I'm gonna add some details to this um, with my Sharpie, and this is totally an optional step um, that's just gonna bring back sort of the shape that hexagon shape that got covered up here. So, I'll show you what I mean. Cut off my scraps. Voila. Okay, that looks really fun. Um, so now, I'm gonna use my Sharpie, and just by kind of tracing really lightly, again, I don't wanna rip or tear this tissue paper, but if I draw a really thin black line around that hexagon, do you see how it kind of makes it pop out again? Just like this one. You guys can kind of see close up how I've got little tiny lines drawn on them. And I've also drawn little tiny polka dotted lines behind my bees. Um, that kind of indicates that they're flying. Uh, so you again, you don't have to do this step, but if you want to, you totally can. Um, so I'm just gonna do a few of them here to make it kind of stand out. Like that one, okay. All right, that looks so fun. So now I can think about where I wanna stick my bees, my bumblebees, honeybees. Okay, 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 I like it. Um, I'm gonna stick these two bees, they don't have to practice social distancing, so I'm gonna put these two right at the entryway. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue for my glue stick on the back. And stick them on. Cute. Now you can, if you wanted to, also have them sort of hanging off your page, like maybe this little guy is flying way up at the top. Okay. And where should I put my last two? Maybe I'll do this guy flying in here, and maybe another one closer to the entrance. Ta-da! All right, you guys. Well. 
have fun with this project. I would love to see if you do end up creating one of these. You guys can share it with us because we'd love to see. Have fun!